Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now Hey you guys, so welcome to the Harrison's, Harrison's channel. channel We are here, we told y'all we are gonna start doing these videos Y'all can see get into my hair, this is my 613 vendor. I'm on my hair. My hair looking crazy right now. Boy, if you don't get my hair, it's not looking crazy. crazy. Okay, y'all. So let's get into these questions, shall we? Y'all know we are new to this YouTube stuff. So just excuse us if we're a little ghetto, okay? Question number one How did y'all meet? And this is from Jalisa underscore Winfield on Instagram. So you could tell that. So what did we meet? Was it Gucci? New York? Gucci, New York. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So pretty much like I had seen clip in a store or whatever and I didn't really know if it was like the right time or not. So, you know, uh, basically I just figured it was the right time. So. Basically, he's seen a bad bitch and just tried to holler, period. And that's what I did, so. Mm hmm And that's ever since it then, it's just been locked that. Locked in. It's been locked in, okay? So, question number two, you can read it. And you can read the first name of who it came from. All right, so question number two. How long y'all been dating? And this is from Emma.me. So, we made it, like, official, official, like, Literally, like, when we first started talking, um, we always go by J June 23rd. Is it 23rd or the 24th? June 24th. Yeah, come on. What you doing? Watch your mouth. <coughs> Question number three. <coughs> Who said I love you first? Y'all know Marlon said he loved me first. Nah, that's a fact. I don't think yeah. I love you. Yeah, we was like really really fucking interrupted like the fucking camera had died. I don't know what type of ghetto shit Niggas got going on, but no you got the ghetto shit going on nah, You got the ghetto shit going on. But y'all know Y'all know he said I love you first like I'm real what that mean, easy though? to love what you mean? Just cause I said I love you that don't mean like I'm so that I, I ain't say you was so I love you. I love I, you. I'm happy you love me. Right, I love so you be more. happy. Be happy I give him a little pop. <laughs> so I play on bro. Okay, number four. When? Oh, here you read it. Number four. When did y'all know it was for life? Who? Who? Oh yeah, my fault. By Glamadonis. Well, first of all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, y'all might feel like I'm crazy, but like I could like kind of like tell the future. Not really like tell the future, but like it's just kind of like a vibe thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel vibes. Vibes go long ways with me. I don't know about none of y'all, nobody else. I can't speak on nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I only can speak for me. I go with vibes. And that vibe with me and Cliff was just like a match, pretty much. And I told him from jump, like, it been like three months. And I told him, like, yo, yeah, this is it. You saying like three months into three it? Three months into the relationship. You know what I'm saying? I already knew, like, what's up? Like, yo, this, this shit really 4L. All right, y'all heard it here first. Um, <clears throat> So, when did y'all decide to make it official? Um, this is by, please excuse me if I'm saying it wrong, uh, Sa Shahara Bailey. Um, like I said, we decided to make it official literally like when we first started talking. Like, you know, the thing about it is, bitches just be vibes, you know what I'm saying? But however, I'm more than a vibe. And you could tell by the conversation that I was holding with him, when we first started talking, like, what 
Like I, when I talk to anybody, first of all, I'm looking, I'm, I'm talking to them for a future. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't just talk to people for the moment. If you don't see a future with them, you don't need to be talking to them. You know, so we made it official literally when we started talking, like, and that was just that. Cause I'm, I'm not no ho ass bitch, right? That's facts. We don't do those. Yeah. So you can read this one. We on five? Six. Six. All right, so the sixth question is, will you guys ever do reality TV? And this is by Audacity. So I, I would, I mean, y'all know that's right up my alley. Marlon is more laid back. Like he's not really here for the antics or the bullshit. Um, I feel like the only way he'll do it is if, of course, I ask him. Like, but he's not like thirsty. He's not like y'all. I have to literally, like, I gotta put a gun up to this man's head and have him upload pictures on you um, um, on Instagram because he's like really just he's a real laid back like real nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of my stinky butt because like he's he's came a long way. He's um. He definitely, um, he's getting used to like, you know, social media. I'm trying to get him to use it because you know that's where the money is. All right, number seven. Do you guys want kids? Um, and this is from only one floor child. Um, yes, I want kids, but do you want kids? I do want kids. Um, I want two kids. At first, um, with the kid situation, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, like, I ain't really, like, look into it that deep, should I say? Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know, like, Cliff pretty much, like, just changed my whole, like, aura about this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could see us, like, building, raising a child, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like that's us, for sure, like, yeah, for and sure. And I feel like y'all know, like, I just feel like I we will be super good parents. I mean, try, not you know even saying? like we try and get like properties. We're trying to build income because I don't want to. I don't want us to have a child and a child is born into what I had to go through or me and my mm -hmm. siblings had to go through growing up. Like we want to basically give it to them on a silver spoon and like, be able to pass it down. Pa pass it down, you know. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we just want to wait until the right time. And then you already know that. Um, we we have to get a surrogate and stuff, so it, it's it's a process. You know? hey. Oh, we just answered that, but hey, you can read it. All right. So the question for number eight was, how old are you and your boyfriend? By Bank with Armani. But we already answered that. So y'all know we are 24 years old. My birthday is March 18th, 1997, and, and my yours? birthday is May 25th, 1997. Oh, Cliff, when did you know he was the one? And this is by the real Noto. The real note of your love. So, y'all know I'm real good with like telling stories, talking and stuff. I'm, I'm more better with telling stories than Marlon is. I knew that Marlon, oh, of course. I'm more detailed. Yes, you freeze up a little bit. I don't freeze. Watch out, player. Listen, y'all. Um, I knew Marlon was the one. I feel like Marlon really, he, he deals with my bullshit. Not only that, but like to be around a guy um, that makes you like let you be yourself, like you know, I could just be super comfortable around him. Not only that, like I don't like I've always not really hit stuff from guys I've dated, but I've always like wasn't able to be myself. Like this man right here, I tell this man everything. I I like I don't even know how to how to say it, but I, I just know when I was completely comfortable, like he made me feel comfortable. Like he made me feel like, babe, like you don't have to like, like, I don't know. It, it's just something about me. Like I, I didn't let all my hair down until like maybe a month in, but like after a month in, it was, was over. It was over with, like it, <laughs> it, was it, over. it was over with. But he just made me feel completely comfortable. Um, and that's my thing, just being comfortable around you. Like, 
Yeah, like, I mean, I done took them around my family. My dad fucks with them heavy. My mom absolutely loves him. Everybody loves Marlon. My sisters, they love him. So after then, it was, it was go time. All right, so question number 10. When are y'all tying, when are y'all tying the knot because I want to come? And that's by Lady A. Let me tie the knot, baby. You supposed to ask me. The fuck? Let me turn the knot. I'm asking right now in front of the camera. What you mean when you turn the knot? You, you supposed to come with the question. Like, the fuck? You marry me? It's like nah. But as far as tying the knot, it's coming soon, but it's just a couple more things that I need to do <coughs> before I pop that question back out to y'all, to him, to everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as time go on, you all shall right, see. Right, right. You, you dragging it. Hell. You talking about what's up, pop that question to y'all. Like you just started like rambling. I guess you thought you knew what you was saying. How, bro? Dude. It's okay. I'm gonna cut that. You could cut it, but I'm just saying, it's nothing wrong with that. Why they would you gotta be know? The duh, they, I gotta pop. They, they gonna know. I mean, they gonna have to know. Duh, right, come you on. Gonna post. Oh, he. Just... All right, come on. Come on. We we don't like. I gotta keep deleting stuff. Okay. Question number eleven. Do y'all tell each other? exactly where y'all are going every time y'all leave the house and this is from uncut underscore cash um pretty much yeah we pretty much do yeah that's like the, the locations most... on but there's never been a situation where we just get up and go like it's all in it and it's never really far nah and like you said locations on i let him know like yo babe i'm out this place that place he let me know like yo babe this place that place What's your favorite moment together? And this question is from Mari. Um, so you can answer that. Well, what, what's one of your favorite moments together? One of my favorite moments with Cliff is, um, I want to say when we go to bed. Really? Only because like, I feel at most comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like comfort and comfortable. Hold on. Comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's big. It's comfortable. That's what I said. Comfortable. When you spell it out, it's spelled com for table. Comfort table. That's how you pronounce it out. Comfortable. No, table is T-E-B-L-E. Comfortable. So how you say it then? Comfortable. Alright, but any which way. Um, yeah, so when I'm in a bed, when we go to bed at night, like, I'm hugging him, I'm under him, I'm holding him, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just feel most comfortable. <clears throat> what about you? You ain't answer the question. Okay, so my favorite <clears throat> moment together, it, it will probably be when we go to sleep too. Bro, you cannot use my line, bro. Use your own line. when we go to sleep together. Um, and I really hate when we're arguing and we like don't like sleep together, like when we don't cuddle together. Yeah, when stuff. he get me tight, I'm all the way on that side of the Okay, but I'm always on the side of my He's side. On you come on my side. side. Let's keep it. Let's and keep then when it things right. is like, you know what I'm saying? Going right, going smooth, I'm right here. I'm a big I'll be like, okay. Set. <clears throat> Next question is who is the cook in a relationship? Y'all know his ass ain't cooking a motherfucking thing. I'm the cook. I make sure I feed him. I make sure, of course, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat regardless if he eat cook. or not. He don't cook at all. I ain't with that cooking. How did he come and not be afraid during these times on social media? This is by Vicky. U B D underscore O. So you can answer that. So as far as social media, I don't give a fuck about negative people. You know, like 
I love Cliff, and that's just that. Next question. Next question is, um, it says, do you deal with any insecurities with your feminine ways considering your man is masked and you guys are so different? This is from Justin Dot Dre Paul. Absolutely not. Um, I feel like it's great to be different um, and not similar because it balances it out. Like I'm like super like rah rah, like and he's super chill and cool. I'm super feminine, he's super masculine. So to me, it like it balance like he he can calm me down. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's good. Like I don't really me personally, I don't think two feminine people mix. That's how people start you know, fighting and stuff. I don't think two, ma I mean, they probably do, two masked women probably go together, but I feel like for me and him, this works. Perfect. <clears throat> what are y'all goals within the next two years? This is asked by D the dot D. So we really want to get, um, like the properties. Marlon actually is dropping a clothing line sometime Stay next month. That. Um, I really want to just really like get signed by a record label. Um, I don't want to be associated with the hair industry anymore. Just because I feel like y'all, like, like people, they just don't know how to get people their flowers. It's like y'all like the down talk people, you know, and I just feel like whatever. I'm not appreciated. So what, what the hell ever. Um, I really want to do like restaurants. I want to do like a home care. I want to have properties. I want to just be so bossed up. I mean, I am bossed up, but I just really want to take it by storm. Okay. I want to do like, um, like I want to sign deals with like big brands and stuff like Maybelline, L'Oreal, you know, sign to a record label, as I already said. Okay. Period. So do your friends like your partner? This is by Carrie underscore Finley. All of my friends like Marlon. Like they all. Back the fuck again after the camera has died for the 12th time. 13. Um, 13. the shit is seeing zero. So y'all listen. So y'all, the we are done with this question and answer thing. Listen, y'all. If y'all have not already, make sure y'all shop the Mega Vendelix. This is the blonde. I'm sorry. This is the blonde vendor. Okay. Super bouncy look. I should wave in. Let me see. Okay. I gotta really see this though. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? Alright, babe. Also, y'all, y'all need to make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay in tune. You know Stay what I'm in saying? tune with us because we're gonna be doing videos every motherfucking week, okay? Oh, and really? also make sure y'all stay tuned because Marlon is dropping his clothing line. It's called Maison New York. New York. Okay. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that because we got some real hot shit dropping and y'all just need to be motherfucking in tune. In tune, okay? That's it. See y'all later, y'all. The check. Mm. See y'all later, y'all. The Harrisons are checking out. out.